First of all, I, I just want to I want to give thanks to God. I really do. Uh, been some trying times, and and He humbles you. And uh, I just I just want to give thanks to God. Uh, second, I, I'm so proud of this football team uh, for the fight that they showed tonight. I told them after the game I, I wouldn't want to win it any other way. You know, your back's against the wall. Things aren't going great, but they continue to fight and they continue to believe. You know, we talked about all week of not, not words, but action. Action in action every single day and how we approach the day in everything, not just, not just practice, not just meetings, how we approach the day, trying to make an impact and doing what we need to do with our actions and not words. And we talked about having great faith and when you practice hard and you prepare, that's genuine faith and genuine belief. And you go out there and know that you can get it done. I mean, probably a lot of people out there didn't, didn't think we could get it done. But our players kept coming up and saying, Coach, we believe, we know. And things didn't look good. <laughs> it didn't look good. But our, our team kept fighting. They kept playing for each other. Uh, and that what makes you, it makes you proud as a football coach. I'm proud of our coaches. I'm proud of our staff. Uh, I'm proud to be a, be a CSU Ram. I was proud of our fans. And they stayed in there the second half. They were loud. And that second half, for our, you, know, you know, just our performance, we held them to 184 yards in the second half. We had 320 yards. Our defense held them one of five on third downs. Uh, had some bend, don't break, but we, we, we bowed up on third down. K.J. carter Sammons went 22 of 27 in the second half. Made big play after big play, extending. And it just, just I wouldn't want to win it any other way than we did tonight. Uh, we're a long way from a finished product. A long, long way. But we improved. We improved. Uh, and that's what you want as a football coach. And, you know, by, at the end of the day, I know everybody thinks they know, know X's and O's and got all the answers. But everybody can tell if you're fighting and you're playing hard. That's what I tell them. My mama not, might not know what's going on out there, but she can tell if our guys play hard and play for each other. And that's what we did tonight. And I'm proud, proud to be around, proud to coach this football team. You had some big wins. Is, is this the most gratifying? Yeah, I, I mean, it, it, it's gratifying because of what we talked about this week. You know, what we talked about, what we had to do. And talked about believing every single day. Talked about little belief is wishing. Talked about good belief is hoping. But great belief, genuine belief is knowing. And them guys, they 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 bought, they play they play. You know, they might say, "Hey, we played for coach." They played for each other. That's what they did. They played for each other, and that's all you want as a coach to go out there and fight your tail off and play. And not to say we didn't play hard the first two games. They played hard. All right, but we, but we did it in a week. We corrected things. Guys were flying up. We were getting run over a lot. <laughs> we were getting run over a lot. Safeties were getting run over. It was second and six and second and four a lot tonight. But they kept throwing their hat in there. They kept throwing their body in there and, and sacrificing for the team. And I'm proud of them. On a night when a lot of people would have accepted a moral victory, Really, what was the moral that you kind of wrote in that fourth quarter? Well, I mean, it's what we talked about all week. It's, it's back to about to knowing, knowing that you can get it done, and 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 there wasn't a, there wasn't a doubt. I love the look in our guys' eyes uh, all week. I mean, Monday was a great practice. Guys were saying that's a practice, coach. I mean, they didn't they didn't they didn't they didn't fall they didn't faint in the face of adversity, and and that's hard for. Really, anybody to do. That's hard for a grown man to do. But 18 to 22 year olds, when they're in the, and, and they got adversity, and people want to say, what everything's going wrong, and they didn't faint. I mean, that's what we've been talking about since, since, since the preseason character now, having character every single day and every single moment. And that showed tonight. And, uh, and again, that wasn't just the words, but that was the work that we put in. And hopefully, we can take that from tonight to know what we did and get better and get better and get better. And I meant it when I said it last week. I don't doubt that we got a chance to be a good football team. I don't doubt that. 
Okay? I believe tonight they're starting not to doubt it. So that's what we got from tonight. What was the magical answer that you did not have last week in terms of turning this team around? Uh, I mean, I, mean I, I don't know. That was that was last week. <laughs> You know, uh, the magical answer, Matt, was really we just we went back we went back to work. You addressed the issues that were our issues uh, against CU. Uh, space was an issue, uh, and I think tonight we handled space pretty well. They got the one speed sweep out on us when they got in space. We just we we got the alley run and we kind of we kind of let up there inside out. Uh, but you know that was one play. But for the whole night, I, I think the safeties were supporting. We did a good job holding off and not giving them an RPO over our head, making them hand it off. That was the plan. If we give up a hitch, if we give up six yards, make them work the field, don't give up the big play. We gave up the one big play on the speed sweep. We gave up a couple runs, but we got them down, and then we played good red zone defense. And, you know, we don't jump off sides, you know, on the one field goal. We got another stop down there in plus territory. But, you know, it, it's going back to work. and and you know, addressing the issues you had and, you know, limiting space and leverage. And I thought we did a better job of leverage. Again, we got it run over a couple times, but our safeties did a better job. We did a better job outside in. We didn't do nothing fancy defensively. We didn't do nothing fancy. We went to work, said, here's our calls. This is what we're going to do. We're going to play discipline, and then we're going to play for each other. Mike, you kind of showed a little confidence in, in yourself in kicking off, choosing to kick and putting the game starting off the game with your defense. What was it you saw, and was that intended to be a message to your team? Well, that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to play defense. We wanted to have confidence in our guys. And then I just, you know, I kind of believe in deferring, uh, having a chance to score right before the half and, get, and getting the ball back. That's just kind of my belief. Uh, you know, we talk about it every week, what we want to do. And Coach Janet said, kick the damn ball off. And I like the confidence in him, the confidence he showed in the defense. And the guys and the guys answered. It was good to get a first lead of the season. <laughs> I you mentioned the how you guys are you know we're sure that you you can become a good football team, but how important is it to have you know validation in a win column you know against them? Yeah, we play, know, an SEC team, team. But at the end of the day, you play to win. At the end of the day, that's what you do. It's, a, it's I tell our guys all the time. It's a bottom line business. You know, you win or lose, and that's what you play the game for. I said we're not going to this game. Uh, you know, anything less than expecting to win. We talked about being 0-2 and, and talked about the opportunity that we had as a football team right, to come play. Yeah, here comes Arkansas. Here comes an SEC football team. I'm glad we got them on campus. All right, but the opportunity for our football team is to go out and play an opponent and compete. And that's what they did, and they found a way tonight. Okay? We, hey, Losing is bad for team morale, and winning is good for team morale. It's pretty, pretty simple. <laughs> you guys have seen some, some big performances from receivers with Michael Gallup a lot last year, but what can you say about what Preston Williams did in that second half? Well, I, I just, you know, I, I, he made big play after big play, big catch after big catch. Uh, KJ did a great job of extending some plays and buying a little bit of time. Uh, you know, and he, you know, here's a guy that ain't played football in, in two years almost. You know, and he's still a raw product. Uh, missed a lot of practice last year when he wasn't with our football team. Uh, but proud of that young man. I'm really proud of the whole football team. Uh, you got to have players make big plays in big moments. And there were a number of guys that made them. Preston Williams made them. K.J. Carter Samuels made them. B.C. Johnson made them. Emmanuel Jones made them on defense with the big sack. Uh, there was big play after big play by our guys. And, you know, we, I mean, we were – Warren Jackson got hurt on Wednesday's practice, who's a dang good player for us. And can't say enough about Brendan Fulton coming out there playing tonight. You know, walk on, earned a scholarship, local kid, dad's a high school coach, made big plays. Got called for that holding. I don't think he held. He just got his butt ran over. But, uh, you know, all those guys. And, you know, the thing I'm proud of, uh, you know, because sometimes when things aren't going well, uh, not just the first two weeks, but within a game uh, of our offense, uh, you know, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't faint either. You know, I kept telling the coaches, "Give with your guys, tell them to just keep playing. We're going to get a plan. It's going to come together." And uh, credit to those guys. Credit to Coach Letson. I thought he did a great job uh, in the second half uh, of dialing up plays and giving our playmakers a chance 
uh, to, to make plays. And, uh, you know, I, that offensive staff, I can't say enough about them. You know, with what I've been going through and being out and uh, holding, this t holding this team together and just doing a, doing a great job. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, it was hard that first week sitting in the box, you know, getting out of the hospital late in that week. And uh, it just doesn't feel right sitting up there with those guys. Uh, you want to be down there with them. Uh, you want to be out there with them every day. And uh, they know, you know, kind of I'm in and out right now. And they know that. Uh, but I tell them I, I'm controlling what I can control. And our coaches and players are, are doing a great job. And again, you know, they might say something, hey, coach, we did that for coach. They did, they did it for, did for each other. And uh, I just, I, I'm so proud of the fight of those guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm down there. You know, I'm, I, my feet are numb already. I got pain. I told the trainer, I said, let's just shoot my feet up. And then maybe, I can't feel them anyway. So maybe I can not feel pain and, and just get somebody to hold me up. But uh, just about, about fell down tonight a couple times just, just because I was, Proud of our guys. I'm getting a little better. I'm moving a little faster, um, but uh, I know I'm rambling. I'm just I can't. I just keep thinking about the hey, team. Hey, it ain't about me. Hey, it's coach. about these guys. Sorry, but, hey, coach. What does it say about the toughness of KJ when he was able to hang in the pocket on that completion to Preston Williams? Uh, I mean, th that's that's one thing that he showed during during camp. Uh, the ability to extend plays, to stand in there. Uh, you know, and he stood in there and made that throw right there to Preston. And anytime you're throwing to in the end zone and you're throwing on the back line, you know, the ball needs to be high where only your guy has a chance to make the play. He, you know, the safety was cheated to that side, and I really didn't know why he was working that side. You know, but sometimes you're just going to throw to the best player on the field. And he bought a little time, let him get behind the safety, put it where only he could catch it. Uh, you know, and then the third down play on the 96-yard drive, I think it was 96, the third down play to BC, you know, called a little rollout, trying to get a rub, a sprint out. They covered it. BC had a little common sense to slip back inside, and KJ just extended the play there. It was a huge first down uh, for us. Uh, you know, guys got some toughness. That's what I showed the team last week, uh, standing in there. You know, he got hit way too many times last week and talked about being tied together offensively. And I thought we were tied together better tonight. Uh, some of his uh, hits were, you know, him just buying a little bit of time and hanging in there to the last second and, and making plays. And that's what you got to do. You know, you got to make plays. Sometimes guys make plays with their brains and getting us in the right play and getting, out of the, getting the ball out quick. And sometimes it's extending the play and making that play you know, to win the game. And he did that tonight. Uh, that was great. What, you know, we did there at the end of the game, you know, to get the ball and finish it with a touchdown, you know, with eight seconds to go and basically take the air out of the ball against them. And, uh, you know, I mean, 20, 22 out of 27 in the second half, 291 yards, two touchdowns, with zero running game. <laughs> with zero running game. I mean, they basically went to dime and knew we were throwing the ball, and, and, and that's hard to do. You know, when you're throwing it every down, we got to get better in the running game. But uh, I'm, I'm proud of him. I mean, that's that's a that's a great effort right there by that kid. 22 of 27 for almost 300 yards in the second half. When you see a game develop like this, and your defense finally starts to make a stand, do some things you want, how important is it to see a young player like Emmanuel Jones come up with clutch interception? That that's right. He intercepted the, the ball too. Well, I mean, it, they just kept fighting. We got Finn at uh, D-line. R.J. Gene went out. I'm not sure exactly. I know it's a foot injury. You know, we were Richard King was out. Uh, Manuel was out for, for a little bit. I think he had a little bit of cramping. He's dealing with his wrist. Uh, I mean, that kid is a, you know, he, he looks the part. He looks like one of those guys on the other sideline, an SEC player. This guy's played one year of football. He's raw. Uh, he makes mistakes, but he plays hard as hell. And, you know, that was a great job in coverage right there. But he kept fighting and got off and, and got the big boy down, which, which was a big play for us. And, and that's what we keep saying. Keep fighting. Keep swinging. I uh, was happy for him. You know, he showed some toughness. You know, went down a couple times. And, and we challenged him. And he got back in there. And um, just proud. That guy's only going to get better. Uh, you know, and that's, that's just credit to our, credit to our team. 
Wyatt showed up here. Uh, he had a rough start to his season, obviously, but tonight he becomes a program's career scoring leader. Uh, what can you say about the way he bounced back? Well, I mean, I, you know, everybody's been challenged on this football team. You know, coaches have been challenged, players have been challenged. Wyatt Byron was challenged the first week. We opened up the competition, you know, and he didn't he didn't back down. Came out there with strong mental attitude. I think he made that first kick in, against uh, the CU when it was 52 yards. Told Coach Gibson, don't ever doubt me. I like it. I like it, okay, because he has belief in himself. And then what a, what a great feat. All-time leading scorer in Colorado State history. Here's a guy that's walked on. Wasn't very good when I first got here, but a credit to him, how he worked. Uh, he's one of the hardest workers in the, in the offseason, too, of just – he, he don't want to do a kicker workout. He just works and proud of him and, you know, proud of that special teams unit tonight. You know, we that was, I think well, we had the big return. They took the clip off. But field goal to extra point did a great job tonight. Those were huge field goals uh, and a little bit of a swirling wind. And that's, that's belief in himself, and I, I'm proud of him. When somebody gets challenged, and you go get challenged. You go get challenged. That's part of it as a football player. You want people to respond. Uh, and that shows the character of that kid because he responded. Coach, after that long touchdown run from Arkansas in the third quarter there, were there any conversations on the defensive unit that you noticed on the sideline that maybe showed that they were going to lock down and, and kind of change change the momentum for the rest of the game? The long touchdown run by Arkansas? Yes. Who, who, to, for the, the speed sweep, is that what we're talking about? Yeah. Who's Marcus? Their guy? Did you say Marcus? No. no. The speed was sweep? There well, the conversation was we got to do our job. You know, we got to run inside out. A uh, little hesitation by the backers running inside out. We didn't, we didn't do our job. And they got challenged. They got challenged, you know, that, hey, you got to do your job. If you don't do your job, that's what happens. And you give up a big play. Uh, you know, and Coach Janzik was hot. You know, had to calm him down a little bit and say, you know, you know challenge him, but do it in the right way. And uh, those guys responded. I mean, it gets, it gets tense down there. It gets tense, and there's, there's a bunch of men, and there's, there's testosterone, and there's egos, and, and, and you know, it, it, it gets fiery. And uh, those guys answered the bell. You know, they didn't, they didn't grow weary. They said, we're going to come back out, and we're going we're gonna to play good defense and do our job, and that's what we did. Given the context of the 0-2 start, the, the health problems, just some of the fans being upset, where does tonight's victory rank amongst some of the moments in your football career? Well, it was a great victory because of not, I mean, you've been in this business long enough, you, you, they're going to be good times and there's going to be bad times, okay? And uh, there's going to be struggles. And, and the only thing I know to do is, is continue to work. Uh, it's address the issues. Uh, it's, it's not shy away from, you know, what we are and and call and 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 answer when I not and call people out when I say call people out be constructive and be criticism I mean yeah yeah we're owing to yeah we didn't play well but we talked about this week controlling what we control with our actions and the opportunity we have all right and talked about as I said again ignoring the noise not fighting in adversity and buying in and working. You know, every, everybody wants to, you know, hey, what's the magical answer? What's the, at the end of the day, it's, it's work, man. It's what it is. That's, 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 it. that's it. It's, it's believing in your family, all right? And every family's not perfect out there. There's no perfect program. There's no perfect family. Everybody's got issues, trust me, okay? But it's, it's buying in. You know, I mean, sometimes we, we want this answer that, you know, it's magical. It's work. It's what it is. You're getting your butt up and going to work the next day. And that's what you try to teach these kids. Coach, after some struggles in, in big games, rivalry games, and even in the bowl games, do you feel like you finally got the monkey off your back with this big win? And if not, do you think that this can be an example moving forward for the rest of the season? Yeah, what, what are we going to do from here? What are we going to do from here? It's like I told them, I've said I'm so proud of you because you fought, you believed in each other. We're not a perfect product by any means. What are we going to do from here? Okay, I told them, I said, I, I, I believe that we got a chance to be a good football team, but what do you do? What, what are we going to do from here? It's three games. It's what it is. It's three games. It's a long season.
Coach, how significant was it for your defense's confidence to come out and force an interception on the third play of scrimmage? I, I thought it was great. I thought, you know, we had two, two interceptions today. Uh, I thought we played great on third down. We played great in the red zone. And that, that's battling, you know. We ended up having – we had two turnovers, I believe. It was two to two. You know, you'd like to win the turnover battle. Uh, that's usually, you know, kind of what dictates the game. You know, but to get turnovers and get takeaways is, is good. Now, we got, you know, we got some issues defensively and giving up some things, but we can be opportunistic uh, and get takeaways. That's huge for our football team. Uh, and then, you know, if we can be good on third down and good in the red zone. You know, we're a situational team right now. And uh, we just keep getting better. I mean, that's obvi obviously tonight's going to give our guys confidence, you know. But we got to continue to do the things that we did this week to help us make those plays. Coach, you talked earlier about how real belief is knowing. Mm -hmm. And you've been talking about how believing in family and just working. Is there a moment, whether today or earlier this week, where you said these guys know, they believe? Uh, I, I just saw it in there. I mean, we, they, they were challenged on Monday. Uh, you know, usually have a 15-minute meeting. It went 45. They was challenged. Then I told them where we're going from here. And they came out and, and practiced their tail off on Monday. And then on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday. And we go a fast Friday, and they practice fast on Friday. Uh, and, you know, I just said, hey, the preparation's in, in, in. You know, you might not know this saying, hay's in the barn. You know what that means? That means the work is done. We did the work this week. So all we got to do is go play and have some fun. And uh, that's what our guys did. And they're walking up and down that sideline, and players are just, we believe, coach. We believe. Kept hearing it. And they believe because they, they did it in practice. That's why they had the belief they could get it done, because they felt they did something that week. Hayes in the barn. You learned something, didn't you? All right. Here we go. <laughs>